Today, I'm going to show you a new tool that will allow you to sound just like, like your favorite streamer. Or maybe your favorite YouTuber. Or even your favorite anime character of the season. So I'm going to be showing you how to install this tool. And then we're going to see if this is actually better than the W Okada tool. And that will determine which you should use going forward. So let's hop right into this video. So to install this voice changer, first you're going to want to head to this link found in the description of this video. Now this is their GitHub page where we'll find all the downloads and things, and this has some really good information just about the voice changer in general. But also over here we can find an area with the prerequisites that we need. Now I'm not going to go too much in detail with this, basically you just follow the steps here, and you need PyTorch and a few other things, and make sure you're paying attention here with NVIDIA or Linux and AMD cards. So you just have to make sure that you're paying attention to everything that you're doing here. This is where you can find all those prereqs. And you will need to supply your own RVC voices, so they have some info as to where you can get some just demos that you can get from them, or we have a whole separate video on where you can find other custom voices that other people have made. So you can go check out that video if you're interested. Now once you have all of the prereqs installed, go up to this link right here. And this just takes you to the home of their GitHub page. So just go back to the home. And then the file that we'll wanna download is over here in releases. And you should just get the latest one. Um, and as of recording, it's October 6, 2023. So just go ahead and click on this. And then if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, click this link. If you have an AMD graphics card, click this link. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm gonna be using this top one. And keep in mind, if you have an AMD slash an Intel GPU, if you're having issues, I unfortunately cannot help as I do not have an AMD graphics card or an Intel graphics card to troubleshoot that. So you'll have to see other comments or other videos online to figure out your issues. So yes, I will be going with the NVIDIA one. Now the file is quite large, so it might take a little while, but once you have that downloaded, go ahead and drag it into the folder of your choice. And then you're gonna wanna extract that 7-zip file. So you might need to download 7-zip or WinRAR or something like that. I don't know if Windows now has its own built-in at least 7-zip unzipper, but yeah, just keep in mind, you might need to download 7-zip or something. And also keep in mind of your folder names, make sure that any of the path, aside from the, I guess, root path, don't have any spaces in any folder names because that will mess with the things. So as you can see right here, it's J, Aiden, Software, RVC, The Thing, but there's no spaces anywhere in here. That's what you want. You don't want any spaces in between here because that'll mess with the file linkings of things. So just make sure that you're putting it in a file path that is a direct link without any spaces. And again, this is a really large file, so it's going to take a hot sec depending on your computer specs. So just let it load and I'll see you when this is done. Now, once that is done extracting, you can just delete this file, you don't need it anymore, and then you're gonna wanna hop into this folder. Now, if you already have your voice model files installed and ready to go, you can go ahead and put them in this folder in assets, weights, and then just drop them in here. And it looks like this does come pre-installed with a few, so you're good in that regard. So I went ahead and dropped in a few that I already had, and then we can go back to the main page here, and then you're gonna wanna run this go-realtime-gui bat. And then it's gonna open up a command prompt file. And just like that, it is already open. Super quick and easy. Now you'll notice this looks much different from how W. Otica looks. It's much more simple looking and very old fashioned and very bare bones. But we'll have to see if any of the functionality makes up for the poor appearance. So let's go ahead and get into how to use this. Now this top section is for the model. Now you're gonna wanna hit select the .pth file and then just select the one that you wanna use. So I'm gonna try with Gouda first. And then if your model happens to have an index, that's fine, you can use it. Or if it doesn't, just leave this how it is. The next section is for your audio device, so your input and output. Your output should be headphones. Don't use speakers because then it's gonna have an echo effect. And your input should ideally be a good microphone preferably not your laptop or computer's built-in microphone. So if you have just an, any external microphone, that will be perfect. And if you're wanting to use this in Discord or any other game, we also have a video on how to do that. Granted, it is for W. Otica, but it's basically the exact same process. So you can go ahead and follow that and figure out how to use this in Discord. Now there are a few sections here for general settings. Response threshold is basically how sensitive your microphone is. I would just leave this where it is, unless if you're really 
possibility of having some issues picking up sound. If you're having issues picking up sound, go ahead and just lower this a little bit, but that means that you will be able to get more background noise in. So just keep that in mind. Pitch setting adjusts the pitch of your voice. So if you're going from a deep voice to a high pitched voice, as in the model that you're loading is a high pitched voice, you're gonna wanna put this about 12. If you're going from a high pitched voice for, to a lower pitched voice, then you're gonna wanna set this about negative 12 ish and granted it'll you know vary based off of your own individual voice but that's about what works for me give or take a few index rate I would not touch unless if you're using an index, but just honestly, I don't like the indexes. I don't really feel like they change too much, so I'm not gonna use them, but if you do, you can increase this to make the index more powerful. And the loudness factor is just how loud it sounds like coming out of the thing. So if it's really quiet and you can't really hear it, you can bump this up to just sort of, you know, be able to hear it better. So just adjust this on your own, depending on if it's too quiet or too loud. Pitch detection algorithm. I would just leave this at its default for now. If you happen to have issues with some models, you can try putting it at Crip or Harvest sometimes. Um, so just sort of play around with it. And that's true with a lot of these settings. A lot of these settings depend very much on the model themselves. So you might have to you know, mess around with it a little bit. And I would take a screenshot of this every single time you have a good settings set. Um, because each model, like I said, you know, you'll want to have a log of each model settings. So if you go back to it, you know exactly which settings work best for that model. Now for performance settings, this is really going to depend based off of your graphics card. I personally have a GTX 1080, which is definitely pretty outdated in terms of using it for AI stuff. But if you can go the lowest that you can for the sample length and probably fade length, go to the very top, which is the default. If you go higher on the sample length, that means there's going to be more of a delay between your voice and the outputted voice changed voice. And the fade length, basically the higher the number, the higher the quality of the actual voice is going to be. So you could put this lower to increase the performance. However, the voice is going to be much lower quality. So leave this as high as you can and leave this as low as you can. And everything else, probably just leave at the defaults unless if, you, know, you notice that your CPU can handle different things and depending on your settings just leave everything how it is for now and once that is all done you can go ahead and hit start audio conversion and keep in mind you do need a decent computer for this so if you don't have the best computer it might just not work for you. So let's go ahead and hit start and see how it goes. And you'll notice back here, there is a couple stuff happening with the CMD and you can hear a voice starting to emerge from the background there. So I can tell that it's very choppy and that's very likely probably because my graphics card is not the best. So if I try putting this back maybe to point, I think it was 0.52 was the default and hit start audio conversion. And as you can hear, the voice hear, sounds the voice much sounds better. Much better. So depending on your graphics card so strength, graphics you, card might, strength need you might need to have higher. this lower or higher. So all things considered, the performance settings on default for me tends to work pretty good, so you'll just have to see if this works for you, or if not, you can edit it. And to demonstrate the pitch settings, it's on 12 right now, which tends to sound pretty good, but if I were to lower it back to 2, which is the default setting, you can see it sounds really weird. So when you want to stop the audio conversion, just hit the stop audio conversion button. And then you'll see ending VC and you're good to go, it is done. So that was Gura, but let's go ahead and try Markiplier. And then because it's a deeper voice from mine, I'm gonna set it uh, maybe to negative three to start because his voice isn't that much deeper than mine. So we'll see how that is and then I'll probably have to adjust it. And there we go, we can and hear the we voice. Go. We can hear the voice. So if I go even so further down. if I go down, even further down. Maybe negative maybe. eight. Negative eight. I think I think this is a pretty think, good sweet spot. I think spot. this is a pretty good sweet spot. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, that is there we pretty go. much this that is voice pretty changer. Pretty much this voice changer. Now there is an now, there ever is so slight delay for me. So slight delay and this for is me. basically the exact same delay from W Okada. From W Okada. But to me at least, well, even with a least, lower end graphics card, end graphics that's card, pretty outdated that's by now. Pretty outdated by now. This would actually this work would pretty actually well work in pretty a real time well environment. In a real time environment. Now the big question with this voice changer is: Is it worth it to use this over W Okada? Because the GUI on this is 
considerably worse than the other one and there's not really any features i mean sure the install is ever so slightly easier in my opinion it's still not worth for the customization that you get w okada plus you can have various profiles in that one so it just makes this one far inferior in terms of features so i guess if you're looking for a very bare bones kind of setup this will work fine, and I would say it's certainly easier to use and maybe works a little bit better on some lower end systems, but other than that, I would just stick to W Okada. So I will leave the original video to download W Okada down in the description below. So if you want to go download that one, you can go ahead and do that. They have had some more updates since that video was released, but the download should be roughly the same process. So yeah, it's really cool that we're having a few more options in the RVC space, but like I said, there's not really any need to switch from W Okada because this doesn't offer any real benefit. But that's all I have to show you for this RVC GUI. To discover more cool AI tools like this one, check out our website at ai-search.io.